वेलकम ऑल टू आवर चैनल जी टेक फ्लुएंट आवर टूडेज टॉपिक नंबर थर्टी थ्री इन एस पी डॉट नेट कोर वीडियो सीरीज इज गेटिंग द लिस्ट फ्रॉम द इंटीटी फ्रेमवर्क कोर एंड डिस्प्ले इन टू दू सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर और यूज द अदर प्रोजेक्ट इन टू आवर एस पी डॉट नेट कोर एम यूसी एप्लीकेशन वॉट आर द पैकेजेस वी नीड टू बी इंस्टॉल सो लेट स्विच टू द विजुअल स्टूडियो एंड सी द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हाउ टू फेच द लिस्ट फ्रॉम द इंटीटी फ्रेमवर्क कोर एंड बाइन टू दू so we are in our project which we have created for this video tutorial series so to displaying the list into our project we have used student controller student list action inside this we are calling get all student method inside the student repository and if you go to the repository we are getting the constant or you can say the static value and from that we are getting the list so for now we need to get the list from the entity framework core instead of student repository so first we need to add the reference of the project which we have created into the entity framework core video tutorial series so i would recommend you please watch the videos on the entity framework core video tutorial series where we have explain how to install and how to set up the entity framework core into your application so this is the project which we have created for entity framework core video tutorial series so here we have created the student contract and the service so where we have defined the get all student get all student by name and the get student with the single object so let's add this project reference into the our asp.net core mvc application so to add the reference go to the dependency right click add project reference go to the browse go to the project path select the reference for your project and click on the add click on okay so once you add you will find the references inside the assembly after this we need to add two more packages here so go to the manage nugget packages and search for the microsoft dot entity framework core and let's add this packages because we are calling assembly so we need to add this package so let's choose the version as we are using 3.1 install we need to install the microsoft dot entity framework core dot sql server as well and the version would be 3.1 so now we have installed the required packages for our project the next step is we need to add the dependency for the services and the contract into the asp dot net core mvc application so let's go to the startup file and inside this into the configure services so if you have any doubt or query what is the lifetime for the dependency or the services you can watch our previous video on the difference between the add singleton add scoped and the add transient so for this we need to use student contract which is inside the entity framework core and student services so now we have registered the dependency so another change we need to made is like go to the controller change this to the i student contract using entity framework core project and we will assign this as of now we will comment this we will see later as we are focusing on the list part for this tutorial so here if you notice in the get all student we are calling the get all student method inside the entity framework core and that is returning the type of the student object so so instead of student we will use sample dot entity framework core dot entity dot student and another change we need to made inside the views so let's go to the view and here instead of sample core model we will use the entity framework core entity so here we are using the student object from the entity framework core project so rest thing are similar because we have designed the our table similar way so after this change let's run and see and if we navigate to the student slash student list so we are getting the data from the database so if you check on the database front we have this three record inserted where we have id 1 3 and 4 and where we have put this record for the uh, demo purpose 
and if you check on the screen we are getting the data which is inserted into the database so in this way you will get the data from the database so i would recommend you to please watch our previous video on how to query data into the entity framework core so in this way you will get the data and bind to the screen in our next video we will see how to save the data into the database using entity framework core so please let us know if anyone has any query or doubt we will meet in our next video thank you